Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of thestyleshaker.com, your guide to green beauty, and I am back with another product review straight from the mystery box. What's inside, you ask? Good question. Everything that you suggest to me using the link below gets put on a list and randomly selected, sometimes not randomly because I really wanna try it out faster than the others. I put it in this box, there's about six products, and that's what I'm testing out today. One of the items in that box is the Jane Iredale Longest Lash Thickening Lengthening mascara. Did I get that right? Oh my god, I did. I had some really interesting reviews out there and I wanted to test it out for myself and evidently you wanted me to try it out too. So it was like <sighs> meeting of the minds. Like you get me. Now come along for the ride. Before I begin, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic right now, freaking out, don't freak out because you can check out the free green beauty guide back on my site. It's 100% free. It's easy peasy and all you need to do is click the link below to find it. I am testing the Jane Iredell mascara. Do I have to say it again? Oh God. <sighs> Jane Iredell Longest Lash Thickening and Lengthening Mascara. That time it felt a lot easier. I think I was just being melodramatic. Shocking. It comes in this little tube. I like that it's not in your typical mascara container. I like the squeezy. Huh. I'm already getting to what I like. So I'm gonna tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then give you my final verdict, whether or not I will recommend this to a friend. First up, what I like. Well, I suppose I should tell you how much it costs, right? $33 for this tube of mascara. It's up there. I hear you, it's up there. Yeah, it is, but I just want you to know the price. Jane Iredale is a really great brand. This is what I like, by the way. I love the brand. I love that it's clean. I know it's reliable. I know if I see Jane Iredale, I know I will be putting something good on my face. I like that this had seaweed lipids in it. Why? What do you ever hear of a mascara having seaweed lipids? I didn't know seaweed had lipids. It helps condition and it helps prevent breakage. Here are a few other things that I liked about this product. I really like brush. I'm a huge fan of it. Some people really did not like the brush, but I like brushes that look like this. It's thicker, it can kind of grab more product in there, and it applies really nicely, so I liked that. Like I said before, I like the container. I like that you can kind of like squeeze on it and get all that mascara onto the brush like this. And also this is a quick dry formula, which was kind of interesting as well, and it did dry quickly. So that takes me to what I didn't like about the product actually. <laughs> Here's the thing. I tested it a number of different ways. First, I did it on bare lashes. The brand does not actually recommend this. They say use a conditioner or a type of primer beforehand to help lengthen and thicken. This is supposed to lengthen and thicken on its own, but then they recommend using it, whatever. It did not do much on its own. It's a very thin formula as well, so that's something I didn't like about it. Then I tried it with my primer on beforehand, so I've been using that Revitalash primer, and then I applied this on top of it like I would my normal combination where I use the Honest Beauty mascara. That's actually who this is going up against. Honest Beauty has this great mascara I keep using, and I keep testing other products against it, and usually they fail. This is that mascara. You've seen me use it in my Get Ready With Me videos, my favorites videos. You've seen it all over the place. I put it over the primer, and then you can see that it it actually performed much, much better. It didn't add a heavy amount of mascara product to the lashes, but it added a lot of natural sort of fanning out of the lashes and it did lengthen there. So then the final, final test, on one eye I did my normal combination of primer and then the Honest Beauty mascara. And on the other eye, I did the combination of the primer and the Jane Iredale mascara. Between the two, the main point of differentiation was the Jane Iredale is definitely a thinner formula, like I said, and it doesn't have as much of an impact. So it's a lower impact looking mascara. As I went throughout the day, the Honest Beauty stuck for Jane Iredale. It flaked, there was flaking. I saw that in the reviews and I was like, no, maybe I'll use my primer and it won't do, it did it. It wasn't the worst natural mascara because there are some out there that are just like, I don't even know why this is on the market. If you like a more natural look than a lighter formula, I don't know a lot of women that do, but I'm putting it out there because maybe there's someone out there that likes something that's a little bit lighter and a little less dramatic. Um, then this could be something you might want to look at, but it's not a glowing review either way. As you can guess, at the, the day, the final verdict, would I recommend it to a friend? No, no, I'm gonna recommend the Honest Beauty. Oh, good. Oh. This is a no-go. And there you go. That's it. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give a thumbs up to support the channel. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another video like this one. To all my current subscribers, my people, my style shakers, my mystery box lovers, my tribe. What else can I say? Like, what are the other words? I don't know. Mwah. Love you. Thank you so much for being here. I am so happy to have you and I cannot wait until I get to see you again next time. Until then, submit your suggestions. You never know. You might get a cameo next time around. Bye.